Hello again and welcome to another edition of Shed Talk, my magazine type video series uh, looking at the breeding, keeping and showing of exhibition budgerigars. Uh, well I actually it's the showing bit that we're going to begin to look at in the next few videos um, in general. Uh, I have a my first real show of the of the year coming up coming up and that's a small show, a uh, young bird show at the Oxford 9010 um, cage bird uh, society so I need to start pulling the show team together well I expect like most of you um, throughout the the breeding season I keep an eye on uh, the birds that are both in the main flight and in the breeding cage uh, just with an eye to seeing whether uh, they're likely to um, be good enough to go out on the show bench um, for all of us that's going to be different in terms of the way we select those birds isn't it because um, you know uh, many people will have much better birds than I do and the birds that I'm going to be putting out uh, probably wouldn't come anywhere near their show team and and of course there will be some people who um, ha, whose quality is perhaps not not as good as mine and uh, they will be putting birds out that perhaps I wouldn't so it's all very subjective and we can only show what we've got in our shed so what I'm going to do is uh, I'll get the birds out, put them in the showcase, just run them past, have a bit of an eye for them. I will start with the young birds um, and have a look at those. Uh, some of them I will perhaps put in the show team for a bit later on in the year rather than the early shows because they're still a little bit young. Um, and uh, I'll need to take that into consideration. Uh, once we've done that, um, we'll get a few of the adults out that I think having looked at them, like I say, in the main flight, um, are likely to make the show team. They may not all be in the best condition at the moment, but if I think they're going to come into condition for a future show, then I will um, mark them down as the show team and they will be separated out of the main flight. But before we do that, let's have a look at um, one of some birds that uh, the one of the viewers has sent me. So this time it was uh, Stefan Rosen. Stefan, I hope I've pronounced your surname uh, correctly. Um, he sent me some pictures following uh, a recent video where, once again, I said if you've got any birds that you want or any pictures of your birds that you'd like me to show, then send them in. Um, he um, PM'd me some uh, pictures, so we will take a look at those while I'm getting the birds out of the various uh, flights. Uh, while we're looking at that those as always if you do enjoy the videos don't forget to hit the like button or the likes do help um, and of course you can comment on any of the videos uh, um, as always and don't forget if you haven't yet subscribed please do subscribe and you want all the notifications then press the bell icon so let's have a look at stefan's birds So in no particular order then, we'll start having a look at the, the birds that I've chosen for the show team. Um, none of these have been prepared, so um, they're still spotting out and washing and all the rest of those um, bits and pieces to do on all of the birds. Um, the first bird is this grey cinnamon opaline cockbird. This is the bird that's literally just come out of the breeding cages. Um, we, in the last video we took a look at his two youngsters. In terms of condition, this bird's not in the greatest of condition. Uh, she's got, he's got quite a few pin feathers in the head. Not really relaxed at the moment either in the cage. I've literally just pulled him out of the stock cage. got a reasonable mask on him, reasonable face for my birds. Uh, could do with a little bit more over the top and a little bit more behind the heart, behind the eye I think. Quite a lot of feather. I'll just pan out a little bit. 
got most of his flight in both wings um, so that shouldn't be picked up too much for that for an opaline it's reasonably clean uh, he's got at least one of his tail feathers if not the second one although they're a little bit tatty where he's been in the breeding cage this is an any will go in the any age class And once he's cleaned up, he may or may not get a trip out to the Oxford 1910, but he will get a trip out to one of the shows. So that's the Opaline uh, Cinnamon Grey. So the next bird we're going to look at is a bird we have seen before. Um, this is one of this year's young birds. Um, and I know I've said it a number of times, I do quite like the, this bird. Um, got a nice, nice face on him, nice wide face. Uh, could do with a little bit more between the eyes, I think, but that may still got a bit of growing to do. So I'm hoping he will get that. Quite a big bird, um, wide shoulders. Like I say, not in the best of conditions at the moment um, in terms of his feather condition. Looks to me like he's going through a bit of a molt. So I'm, I will almost certainly put this bird out for the young bird show, but I need to give him a really good clean up. He's also um, currently growing back his tail feathers. I don't know if you can see this, so they're not complete. Um, but I think with a little bit of uh, work on them under the kettle, over the heat, and all the steam from the kettle, I should be able to get those straightened so they don't look too bad. Uh, lost a couple of flights on both wings, but again, I think that's... Um, going to be just about bearable um, and I'm hoping given that this is quite a small show uh, the judge won't pick me up too much for that uh, but yeah my best of my young birds once he hopefully for the later shows he'll be in a much better condition than he is now and that's this young this year's cobalt he is and I, you can't really see it in the video but he does have a little bit of opalescence around the back of the head it's not too bad on the side of the face but certainly around the back of the head is a little bit opalescent so um, and currently showing a little bit of a split mask but once I've pulled the spots I'm hoping that will be okay there we go this is the second bird that we're going to go out like I say we'll probably almost certainly after I've cleaned him up I will take him out to the 1910 show. So he's now coming out of the nappy flight. He'll go into the um, stock cage with all of the other show team birds. So that's bird number two and the first of the young birds. So the second of the young birds then, this normal light green. Again, we've seen this before, this bird before. Um, in better condition than the cobalt that we just looked at uh, and has almost all of its um, flight feathers and all, all of its tail so it's got a really deep mask on this bird still a bit unsettled in the show cage as it's still only a young bird still getting used to it i will give it lots and lots of show cage training over the next uh, few days a couple of weeks before the first show. If anything this bird could do with a little bit more over the top and still suffers from this uh, hinged tail. Funnily enough when it's actually in, sat in the flight it shows this much much less than when he's in a show cage so I don't know whether this is just pulling a little bit once it's in the show cage and once it's settled maybe just maybe um, it will be a little bit more Let's see if I can get him to oh I don't want him on the put on the stick um, it might be that once he settles in the show cage he and stops pulling that he will show less of that hinge tail You can see here he's 
a little bit more relaxed or not very relaxed but a little bit showing it a bit less of the poor tail although now sitting across the first a little bit so um, perhaps not the best of show birds in terms of showing himself off to his best condition but we'll wait and see how he gets on um, these are the only two birds so far that I'm going looking to make the show team I've got a in terms of the young birds um, there is a uh, cinnamon sorry yeah cinnamon gray opaline or gray green opaline um, but still missing some flight feathers um, I'm reluctant to put her out uh, at the moment if she those flight feathers come back she may go out for one of the later shows but this will be the last of the young birds anyway that will be currently in the team see if I can get him off the front of the perch is that again does need quite a bit of um, training I think this one interesting in what's going on so there we go light green so the next bird we're going to look at is another adult bird um, this is the um, yellow face cinnamon dominant pied um, you may remember he did quite well for me in the Oxford 1910 stock show so the last show he went out to um, he still so whilst he looks in reasonable condition at the moment he's actually got a couple of flights missing or on the other wing and I say a couple almost all of them they are coming back through um, so I don't know whether he's going to go out or not at the moment he's still got a few little pin feathers in his head that I'll need to try and open up before the show if I do take him um, this is one of those birds that actually in terms of his face he's got a style that I quite like plenty of blow um, plenty of feathers coming down across the eyes um, and quite a bit over the top reasonable mask spots could do with being a little bit bigger but there we go can't have everything can we so a dominant pied yellow face grey cinnamon That was nicely in the show cage very quickly doesn't show any real signs of a hinged tail sits quite nicely if anything could do with being a little bit longer there we are that's bird number four So this is the next bird we're going to have a look at then this is a adult normal grey green once again not sitting particularly well at the moment um, normally sits a little bit better than that still showing a little sign of um, hinge tail which I really don't like actually on this bird at the moment but And I'm sure that's going to let him down unless he, um, when he relaxes in the show cage, he picks up a little bit. Does have a lovely face and is it actually in not bad condition. Got all of his flights, all of his tail feathers. Reasonable sized bird for my shed. blowing quite well as you can see although perhaps could do with the head being a little bit thicker Let's see if I can get him to look at us a little bit better he's got a few pin feathers nice deep mask nice wide face very little opalescence overall I'm not going to win any major awards 
But if he relaxes and sits a bit better and doesn't drop his tail in front of the judge, we might just be lucky. So normal. Grey green. So here's the next one for us to have a look at. Probably in terms of the face, probably the worst of the birds so far. Got a very little um, lift above the eye, as you can see. And head just looks small when you compare it to the rest of the body. It's a little bit opalescent behind the top of the head as well. But is in reasonable condition and has, has some quite nice um, spots on it on him for uh, the size of the bird. Sits better than the last bird we looked at in terms of the way he perches. This was the last bird I pulled out of the, out of the flight to go in with the show team. Um, there you can see how narrow the top of the head is. So I'm almost certainly not going to win any prizes I wouldn't have thought. But it'll be nice to get him out. Um, not going to say make up the numbers, but it will. Let's see if he can cross over the perches. It will, um, yeah, it gives him a a day out and you never know depending on what he's up against we'll certainly go out to Oxford 1910 because he's in nice condition and like I say that's not the biggest of shows so whether he'll go out any of the bigger shows I'm not sure yet I have a few blues or a couple of blues as other than him we've seen one of them the young bird um, and I've also got another blue that we will take a look at in a moment so there you go that's the next of the birds that will make or is currently in the show team so here we are a cinnamon light green cock adult bird this is one of the birds that's been in the show cage um, and overall not a bad bird so does have its faults as all birds do but not quite nice i quite like this cinnamon light green um, currently he's got a few pin feathers in the top of the head so i will see to see if i can pull a few of those or at least open them up a little bit sits well on the perch got all his flight feathers and all of his tail feathers if i can get the bird to look at the to look at us there we go you can see he's got a nice deep mask, quite a wide face, and a reasonable, reasonable um, top above the eye on him. Although, as I put this, being there, he tightens up a little bit. When he blows, he looks all right. When he's tight, he pulls that top of the head in, so it's, it looks a little bit narrow. Um, very little opalescence. And I'll see if I can get him to look. The, the most lacking feature on this bird is the size of the spots. So they are actually quite small. I'll just see if I can get a close up so you can see. Oh, there you go. So you can see the size of the spots are quite small. Um, if you had bigger spots to aid with the size of the mask, I would be a bit more happier. But we'll see how he gets on, eh? Quite a long bird. So that's the next of the show team birds. That will almost certainly go out. He obviously needs cleaning up where he's got some uh, blood from the pin feathers. And you can probably just see one of the pin feathers, a few of the pin feathers in the neck as well that I will need to either open or pull. Yeah, hopefully we'll do okay.
you can really see those feathers there, can't you? The unopened feathers. So this is the next bird we're going to look at, another, or a normal light green um, cock bird, another adult bird. Um, this bird's in nice condition. Got all its feathers. Um, lacking a little bit of spot, lacking a little bit in terms of width, I think. Uh, quite a long bird. Sits reasonably well on the perch. Uh, if anything, it's got a, quite a bit of um, opalescence going into the back of the head. Um, not quite got the feather that some of the other birds have, but it's interesting that the birds that seem to lack the feather um, are in the better condition. Uh, so the heavier feathered birds seem to be much more difficult to keep in condition or to get into condition in the first place. A bit like the last bird we looked at, could do with a little bit more spot in terms of the size of the spot. Um, interesting to see what she looks like once I've despotted her or him. Whether it balances the bird. Once again, not, not the biggest of birds, but uh, reasonable for my shed. And undoubtedly, given this condition, we'll get a trip out in a couple of weeks at the Oxford 1910 show. So, normal light green, you can see the opalescence, it's actually in the wing as well. Um, let me just come in and you can see at the top on the shoulder. You'll undoubtedly get picked up for that. I would think. And you can probably just make it out it running up the back of the neck. So a normal light green. So now we come on to what is my favourite bird in my shed. Um, you'll know this one from the breeding cage. A normal light blue. Really does have a lovely, lovely face on this bird. It's, it re it's got lots and lots of pin feathers in the head at the moment. So I will have to see if I can clear some of those out before he goes out for the show. Um, but otherwise not in bad condition. Maybe me missing just one flight on one of the wings. Stands very upright. Nice big bird. Lots of directional feather in the face. Lovely long mask. If I could breed a few more like him, then I would be happy. I'm hoping the co young cobalt we saw earlier will turn out in a similar style to this bird. He really is panicking in the cage at the moment, panting away. He will settle. So yeah, high hopes for this bird in the show season this year. But as always, it will depend on what he comes up against, won't it? He didn't do brilliant, believe for me, but I think last year, but he has come on since then. So he's hoping that he might make or do some do the business at some of the smaller shows. So this is that normal sky blue. Let's see how you get on. There is some epilescence in the back of the head that you just saw when he looked around there. But I'm hoping that won't detract from the overall style of this bird. Too much. 
So time to have a look at the last one. So the last of the birds that we're going to look at then is this um, yellow face. I do have a better yellow face out in the flight, but it's missing half a wing and this one is reasonably complete. So I'm so with that in mind, I've decided to put this one out, although it really doesn't want to settle in the show cage at all. Which is never a good sign, is it? Let's see if I can put something in the bottom of the cage to get its attention. Hopefully that will settle it a little bit. Sometimes does. So like I say, there's a bit of yellow face out in the main flight but it's not in the best of condition so I'm going to put this one out for this early one and when the other one come, looks a bit better I will or it's got most of its um, feathers I'll probably swap them around see if this one will settle a little bit now as a reasonable face on it the one out in the flight has got a bit better above the top of the head and a bit more feather on it overall um, but this is not too bad um, nice mask some some a little bit of feathering directional feathering and reasonable blow above the top of the head not necessarily the biggest bird in the world both in terms of its size and its length looks like he's settled now and decided to chat to all the other birds in the in the shed so we'll see yellow faces do always look attractive i think so, um, which I think always helps when they're out on the show bench. It does seem to have settled a little bit more now. Reasonable spots. Reasonable width between the eyes. A little bit opalescent around the back of the head again. Not showing any signs of a hinged tail. And then when he relaxes, has a little bit of swagger about him. Just hope he relaxes in front of the judge. We'll get a trip out. And like I say, of the two yellow faces that I was thinking about showing, this is probably not the better of the two. Um, maybe when the other one's in a bit better condition, I'll get it out and we can compare the two and you can see what, see what you think. So... That's the last of the show birds, or the birds that are going into the show team for now. No hens. Don't really like showing the hens, and most of the ones that are in the flight aren't in very good condition anyway. And all have just come out of the uh, breeding cages, so they do need a bit more of a rest. I do have that... Uh, opaline grey green young bird that will may may get a, a trip out at some stage this year if it gets its um flight feathers back they all grow back that's it let me know what you think about these birds then the birds that we've looked at for the show team and any comments always welcome so like I say, do let me know your thoughts on the various birds that I've put up. Um, bearing in mind that I can only um, show what I've got in the uh, shed and those that are in some sort of condition. Um, in a future video, I will quickly run through um, the show preparation, although I did do a full video on show preparation um, last year, around this time last year. So um, if you want to see how I prepare my birds for a show, then um, I'll put a link across the top of the screen now so you can have a look at um, look at that if you wish to. Um, you can see I've got a, a new um, cage behind me. It's a uh, stock cage stroke um, breeding cages. Um, th there are four in total. Uh, we'll have a better look at it right at the end of the video so you can see. That's where I've put the uh, 10 birds that have made the show team. Five in the top one, five in the bottom one. Plenty of room. Um, hopefully the perches are far enough apart so that they won't keep nibbling at each other's tails. 
uh, so we won't have that um, scruffiness in the tails. Um, there, it's, it's from my looking at it, it's large enough so they can get a bit of exercise, but not so large that they won't start putting on a little bit of that um, extra weight that we like to see on the birds um, in when they're out on the show bench. So I will finish with um, a quick look at that uh, these uh, the new stock cages that I've got. Uh, but until then, um, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Do subscribe to the channel. And as always, stay safe and enjoy your birds.